Hey guys, welcome back. In the last three videos, uh, we have solved questions on Laplace transform. That is first module from the September 2020 exam. Uh, now we'll start with the second module, Fourier series questions uh, that are asked in the September 2020 entry exam. So before going to the solutions, uh, please subscribe to our channel. The question is find the Fourier series expansion of f of x is equal to x square in the interval minus pi to pi. So what is Fourier series expansion of f of, of, of x? It is writing f of x in terms of cos and sin harmonics. Okay, so f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. We need to find a, a naught a n and b n uh, and a naught a n and b n depend upon f of x. So in this case f of x is uh, given in the interval minus pi to pi. So you can you can see this here. If you draw the graph minus pi will be here, pi will be here if it is x, this is f of x, right? Uh, this is f of x. So the function exists on either side of y axis and f of x is got x square, if you draw the graph, it is like this. It's symmetric with respect to y axis. So such functions are called even functions. Even if you don't know how to draw the graph of the given function, you can find if the function is even or not by this method. If you substitute, if you find f of minus x, if f of x is called x square, then f of minus x is minus x whole square. What is minus x whole square? This is nothing but x square, which is nothing but f of x. So if f of minus x is equal to f of x, these functions are called even functions. Why was this necessary? Because for even functions, bn is equal to 0. So this entire term will be is equal to 0 if f of x is even. And this is only the case when interval is uh, on either side of x axis. If interval is from 0 to 2 pi, we have to find a0, an and bn all the, all the time. But in this case, it is from minus pi to pi and the function is even, so bn is 0. I have already found out bn immediately. So what are a0 and an? a0 is equal to 2 by pi integration from 0 to pi. Now instead of integration from minus pi to pi, now we'll have 0 to pi. Okay. f of x dx. Okay, this is a, uh, a naught. What is an? An is 2 by pi integration from 0 to pi. f of x, uh, a naught beside what function is here? Cos nx, right? So cos nx dx. Okay, so this is, these are the two integrals we need to find. So let's substitute f of x called x square and find these integrals. The first one is, if you substitute x square, what happens here? This is 2 by pi integration from 0 to pi x square dx. What is the integration x square dx? We know x power n is x power n plus 1. So that is x square is 2 plus 1 is 3 by n plus 1. That is 3. So from where to where? From 0 to pi. Right. So this 2 by pi as it is. So what will you get? 2 by pi as it is. 2 by 3 pi. I'll take 3 also outside. In place of x, substitute upper limit. So pi cube minus in place of x, substitute lower limit. 0 cube. So you will get uh, a naught is equal to 2, uh, 1 pi and 1 pi get cancelled, so you will get 2 pi square by 3. So, now we know bn is equal to 0, an is equal, a naught is equal to 2 pi square by 3. Let's find out an. So, if you substitute f of x is equal to x square, what will you get? 2 by pi from 0 to pi x square cos and x dx. Right. So, this integral is, so pretty advanced integral. So, this is uh, u, you have to consider this and v. So this is a integral of the of the uh, two functions multiplied. Okay. So what is formula for integration u v when you use a polynomial? You know it is uh, integration u into v is u into integration v minus u dash into two times integration v plus u double dash into three times integration v minus this goes on and on. Okay. Until you get a zeroth term. Okay. So using this formula, what will we get? Two by pi as it is. Right. Open a big bracket. What is First, first term is u, u is x square, x square into integration v, integration cos nx is sin nx over n, okay, minus u dash, u dash means differentiation of x square, which is 2x into 2 times integration v, 2 times integration v or integration of this function, you have to derive, take the derivative of this function here and integrate this, this function here, so what is the integration sin nx, minus cos nx by n and this n is multiplied to this. So there will be 2n here and then finally plus 
u double dash. Two times differentiation of this or differentiation of 2x. What is the differentiation of 2x? 2. What is the integration of cos nx by n square? Sin nx by n. Okay, Co integration cos nx is sin nx by n. So, your minus as it is, integration cos nx is sin nx by n into n square is n cube. Okay, so in all these in all these terms, we have to evaluate the li limits from zero to pi. Okay, so this is how we are integrating. This is the integration question. So we'll get two by pi. Open a big bracket. Upper limit for upper limit. I open this bracket. We substitute pi here. What will you get? Pi square sine n pi by n minus into minus plus uh, two pi cos n pi by n square plus into minus minus 2 sin n pi by n cube. This is the upper limit if you substitute pi in place of x minus lower limit if you substitute the lower limit in place of x. So if you substitute 0 here, 0 into anything will be 0 minus into minus plus. If you substitute a 0 here, 0 into anything will be 0. Second term will also be 0. And finally, the third term plus into minus minus 2 sin 2 sin n into 0 is 0, sin 0 by n cube. Okay, so this is the uh, integral. So what will I get? An is equal to, an is equal to sin n pi is 0, sin n pi is 0, cos n pi is minus 1 power n, sin n pi is 0, 0, 0, sin 0 is also 0. So only one term is not 0. So that, what, what is that term? You have pi in the denominator, you have pi, in the, pi and pi get cancels. You will get 2 into 2, 4 minus 1 power n by n square. Okay, you will get a naught, a n and b n in terms of n. Okay, so here a naught is either constant, there is no, there are no terms of n. And here the a n depends on n and b n is 0. So now let's take a naught, a n and substitute them in here. Now that uh, we found a naught, a n and b n, we need to substitute them here. Okay, what will I get? So 1 by 2, a naught is 2 pi square by 3, 2 pi square by 3 plus uh, summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity. What is a n? a n is 4 minus 1 power n by n square cos n x plus b n, b n is 0, so we don't write that. So we get this two term uh, answer for uh, that as a 4 is expansion of f of x, okay. But uh, if they are not, if they are asked only to find for this expansion, this is enough, okay. But the, in the question is not over yet. So the, in the question, they have asked us to find, asked us to show that 1 over 1 square minus 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 3 square minus 1 over 4 square plus dash 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 is equal to pi square by 12. Such a series, this series uh, is equal to pi square by 12. We need to show this using this um, result, using this uh, for this expansion, okay. How can we do that? Now f of x, we know f of x is x square, right? So x square is equal to, can I write x square is equal to, this 2 and 2 get cancels, pi square by 3 plus, plus, uh, I'll take this 4 outside, okay. And then I'll start substituting n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, okay. If you substitute n is equal to 1, what will you get? Minus 1 power 1, minus 1 power 1 is minus 1 cos 1x, right, cos 1x by 1 square. Okay, substitute 2, what will you get? Minus 1 power 2, minus 1 square is plus 1, plus 1 cos 2x, cos 2x by 2 square. Okay, then if you substitute 3, minus 1 power 3 is minus 1 cos 3x by 3 square, right, n square means 3 square, plus 1 cos 4x by 4 square minus this goes on and go, goes on and on for till infinity, okay. So this is the expansion, okay. So this is the summation, this is expansion. So in this expansion, if you substitute uh, x is equal to 0, what will you get? x is x square will be 0, 0. I'll, I'll bring this this side. So 0 minus pi square by 3, right. And this 4 multiplication will become in the denominator, it will come in the denominator. It will become division. So this is equal to what happens? Minus cos 0, if x is equal to 0 means cos 1x is cos 0, cos 0 by 1 square plus uh, cos 0 by 2 square 
माइनस कॉस जीरो बाई थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस कॉस जीरो बाय फोर स्क्वायर माइनस डैश डैश विल गेट दिस एंड कॉस जीरो इज वॉट वी नो कॉस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन सो दिस ऑल द न्यूमरेटर्स आर वन सो वॉट वील गेट हियर फाइव स्क्वायर बाय फोर इंटू थ्री इज ट्वेल्व दिस माइनस आई विल सेंड दिस साइड सो वॉट वील गेट If you are, or if you multiply minus to the both side, you get minus will become plus, minus will become plus, plus will become minus, minus will become plus, plus will become minus, minus will become plus. Sign changes. So what will you get? One by one square minus one by two square plus one by three square minus one by four square plus dash 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 dash. So you got this same uh, the the thing they are asked us to show that that's here. Okay. So we have used the result of the, of the Fourier series expansion of x, and substituted x is equal to zero. The x square will become zero, and cos uh, x terms will become cos zero. Cos zero is one. Okay. So this is how you solve Fourier series questions. So if you want to learn uh, more about Fourier series expansion and solve many examples and learn all the basics like integration uh, and evaluating limits, and uh, this uh, how to substitute what number to substitute here, and practice many many more questions on Fourier series expansion. You can check out our course uh, that we have done on VTM three. Uh, the link to the course is in the description.